A while back I did some videos on zinc and nickel plating experiments just to see how easy it was. As you can see I now have a table dedicated to the stuff. The kit has grown a bit. Starting with hydrochloric acid, then a bucket for rinsing, a degreasing bucket full of degreasing chemicals, chrome stripping tank, nickel plating kit followed by copper plating and finally passivate for the zinc plating a battery charger for the chrome stripping because it can be a bit hard on the actual charger and up to the left we have the power supply for plating. Little bench power supply unit purchased off of eBay like all the best stuff. Anyway we start with cleaning off the surface rust and any sort of contamination, grease, dirt, that sort of stuff on the wire wheel. If these had been plated originally um, you would have to get rid of the original plating either chrome or zinc plating for chrome it goes in a bath of dilute sulfuric acid with lead plates as the anodes with zinc you can put it straight into the hydrochloric acid or spirits of salts as it's called but these were painted so I just had to remove the surface rust with a wire wheel and get them as clean as I possibly could here you can see me changing the wire wheels on the end of the motor to do fine work. Using my remote to turn the power on. With everything wire brushed I can then put them in the degreasing chemicals. They can go in now even though it hasn't heated up properly. It's just to get rid of the initial residue because then you put them in a pickling tank of hydrochloric acid or spirit salts. It's diluted to about 10% I think. Leave them in there until they go a matte grey colour give them a rinse and then give them a wire brush just take off any rust marks or stains that are starting to lift and get them clean again and then put them back in the bucket for another few minutes when they're an even matte grey all over then you can take them out rinse them and put them in the degreasing bucket properly as you can see now the red lights on it's up to temperature it's no harm leaving them in there. I left them in for an hour just to be sure. It works. I go and have my dinner and come back to them after dinner. It's a deep fat fryer that I again got off of eBay. The chemicals in the cleaner are trisodium phosphate, caustic soda and bicarbonate of soda mixed three three two by weight formula I got from a popular mechanics magazine 1945 I think it was anyway the plating tank is now up to temperature I've put the little aerator stone in the bottom to keep the water moving and I have connected up the parts to the wires hanging in the bucket the amps, I keep the amps very very low I leave it for a good 15-20 minutes and then periodically I will take them out and just wire brush the greyness, the, the sandiness of them bring them up to a burnished shine so that the plating can build up in layers I'll show you that in a second now overall the process takes just over an hour 
and gradually you build up a nice thickness of zinc plate on the part. One final burnish and a wire brush just to even out the shine, make everything look even and polished if you like and then a wipe with a scotch bright just to sharpen everything up a bit working on a bit of time here makes it look a little bit better and that just leaves the passivate so wrap the part up oh, let's do a bit of polishing there, eh? not happy <laughs> but now you suspend the part from the wire again and put it in the passivate Passivate is very very quick you literally swirl it around the way I do it is as you can see now is I will wrap the part up in the wire give it a rinse and then just slosh it around and suspend it in the bucket while I'm cleaning the next part the time it takes to burnish the next part is all it needs for the passivate to start working Again, just make sure there's no no grease or sticky fingerprints on it. I should be wearing gloves at this point. I didn't realise I'd taken them off. Anyway, as you can see, the part is hanging from this tyre. Very useful rack. Give it a good rinse. And there we go, number two done. And it's just same again. Leave it hanging overnight, longer if possible. The longer you leave it, the better the chrome passivate works, the harder the finish and resistant to rust finish. And there it is in place. Quite happy with it really, at least it won't rust. Anyway, that's it for now. Thanks for watching.